SimCutter here and today we are going to finally restart our series. I've been working on the Uber redesign and because of that I didn't have the time needed to actually record these lessons. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about your, your feedback uh, that some of you guys have been giving and um, a lot of you have been having trouble using Webpack because you aren't able to install packages wherever the, the OS is different and this brings all sorts of problems um, which because I'm more than used to working with, with Webpack I didn't think about that but I should have so uh, I've been thinking about a solution and I believe that the best way to go is to uh, move the project over to uh, something different in this case Docker with Docker you are able to deploy it in any machine, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have Docker installed, you'll be able to uh, put the, the website up and running with no problem at all. And that's the beautiful thing about Docker is because it is like a container. You may think of it uh, like that. So uh, it doesn't matter what happens outside of the container. Everything that's within it will always function the same no matter where the Docker image uh, the docker container is placed so in this lesson i'm going to take you through all of the steps to get it up and running i highly recommend you re-download the project from my github as i'm going to show you how to do it and to uh, reset it up uh, it is going to be really fast uh, in about three minutes you'll be ready to go and in the next lessons we'll start working on uh, the feature of, of the app itself starting with listing all of the posts that users have made before carrying on with the video, I just want to let you know that only 20% of you are subscribed to the channel. So if you are enjoying this series and want to see more of it, then please do leave a subscribe down below. It will help you to not miss a single video in the future. So let's get started. And the first thing that we are going to do is to go into my GitHub and you can find me at uh, Syncoder YouTube. So uh, by that you can easily find me. And in here you have all of the projects that we, we've developed in the um, in this YouTube channel and I'm going to go into Airbnb clone, clone or download and grab this, this uh, URL. So I'm not going to simply uh, zip, uh, download the zip. I'm going to show you how to use uh, Git or at least a very basic version of it. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to quickly jump on to my desktop I'm going to make this a, a tidy bit a tiny bit bigger because I, otherwise you guys won't see it so let's say git clone and paste the the URL of my github project and this will automatically download the project and as you can see it is here so now that we have our project I'm going to quickly open it up in uh, my um, code editor which Again, I prefer VS Code. Let's come in here, open it up. Okay, so it finally loaded. And in here we have um, our projects folder. And as you can see, we still have basically the same uh, organization. So we have a folder for the backend. Let me move this away. A folder for the backend, a folder for our frontend. The difference is you'll notice some different files. So first of all, we have a Docker Compose, which is uh, basically how to, uh, it tells Docker how to compile everything. You don't have to worry about this, but I'll just let you know that right now, all of the lines that are commented are lines that are used to deploy the project for production. And uh, I, I made this Docker uh, image so that, that um, when you come, you deploy it for production in your server, which I'll show you at the end of the, the, the series how to do it, you'll be able to, by just placing your domain in where it says example, where, right in here, uh, it will automatically uh, create um, an SSL certificate so that you can go to your site via uh, HTTPS and um, it will automatically um, take care of the route so nginx is uh, how can you how can i explain it? a program that 
uh, routes so that when your server receives a request from uh, for the domain whatever simcoder.com it automatically redirects that request to the specific folder where it needs to go so it makes everything much easier so in the eventuality that you want to deploy this project all you have to do is to do docker compose up change the domains to your domain and the site is up and you don't need to do anything else that's the good thing about docker and that's one of the main reasons why we are making this change okay so but you don't really need to worry about this um, these files at all uh, simply know that they exist then we have the front end uh, with everything and the back end with everything so in the sources everything is basically the same i changed some config files so i moved them into a place where it is much easier to access and to set up the project but yeah apart from that it is all done now let's set up docker okay so now uh, let's go into our terminal and jump into the um, the, the, the folder, let's leave it there, uh, and we are going to simply install uh, Docker Compose. This is the tool that is going to allow us to actually uh, run Docker and make sure the app deploys. So let's say yay Docker Compose, and uh, this is a, a package downloader that I or package manager that I've been using um, the past these past few weeks, and I quite like it, like it a lot. To install it, if you are in Manjaro, this only applies to Manjaro users. All you have to do is do sudo minus sy uh, yay uh, sudo pacman. Sorry about that. Uh, minus sy yay, and it will start to install. After that, uh, you can simply do uh, yay docker compose, and it will start searching for packages. Uh, for users that are not using this OS, I'll sh uh, show you in a second how to do it. So I'm going to install the second package uh, because the first one is being given some problems. I don't, I'm not sure why. So the second works just fine. Let's click enter, none, none, and it will start installing. Okay, so when it's finished installing, uh, you are done basically. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to show uh, uh, all of you that are not using Manjaro how to install it. So in uh, the, um, the GitHub page of the Airbnb clone, you have a readme with a detailed description or, of how to set it up. And uh, in the prior, uh, requ uh, requisites, uh, we have uh, Docker Compose and a link that will show you how to install it in different OSs. Okay, you have Mac, Windows, Linux, Windows Server, and alternatives, which I'm not quite sure what which they are, but um, there might be other OSs that you guys uh, would be uh, using. So, right now I'm going to quickly deploy it, and I'm not going to set it up with the credentials uh, with the Firebase credentials, but I'll show you in a second how to do that. So, sudo docker Compose and make sure you are in the root folder of the project. So in my case, it's Airbnb clone. Up, then build. And you'll see that it will throw an error because the diamond is not running. So uh, this is quite normal and is as, as it should be. So I'm going to quickly come into my uh, GitHub page in the Airbnb clone and copy this line sudo systemctl start docker and this will start docker itself as a, as, as a service and uh, then we'll be able to to do everything that we want to do so now repeat docker compose up minus minus build and it will start pulling all of the packages this will take some time because it has to download a lot of stuff but in the end we'll have everything up and running one eternity later okay so the project finished compiling and as you can see there was an there is an error that was thrown and this is because it failed to parse all the config information from our firebase uh, project so i'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now 
uh, and by coming into our project, you can see again that we have the back end and front end. And in the back end, for example, we have um, a folder called config with a file called config. And as you can see, we have the service account and the database URL all combined into one place. So in order to get it, uh, let's come into our project, go into settings, service accounts, and for the database uh, URL, we can simply grab this directly, paste it there, and the service account, we can generate a key, which we will be able to grab, copy, and paste. Oops, I pasted it too, uh, too much. <laughs> uh, leave the service account, obviously, a variable. Save it. And now go to the front end, config.js, and do the same thing, but go into general, config, and grab the contents of this variable. Or you can grab the variable itself, it doesn't matter. Okay, now the setup is done. As easy as that. And as you can see, it recompiles automatically. And this is one of the cool things about uh, Docker. Not only don't, uh, do we not need to start Mongo to install packages ourselves and to run npm start at the end and deal with all of the errors that come with it. It will also uh, hot uh, change uh, things that we've saved in our project and reload them. So. Now we are free to come into our site and in order to log in uh, or to uh, access our site, all we have to do is type 127.0.0.1 is the port where the front end is, the back end is at the port 6200. So go in and as you can see, the site is up, great. Now let's test the login. So go to the login um, part of the site, click sign in with Google, and hopefully no errors will be given. And it automatically logged in. If I come in here, I'm going to show you guys just uh, what it did. Come in here, and that no errors was shown. And I placed the log uh, on top of the um, when the user logs in to show you guys that it is in fact working. So that's it. Um, right now it is working. Uh, we don't need to do anything else to it. So I hope that you guys are able to do it. If you are not, then leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Again, I'm sorry for this change, but I believe it is better. Uh, it is for the best of the future of this series to do this change now. Uh, so simply download it. Don't try to change the files yourself. Download it and start from there. Okay, so thank you again for watching. In the next lesson, we'll start uh, writing code for listing the posts. And yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you all again very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.